Now you may go up 2-0 and lose a second. Like, United, you're, you're not top two in your pool. You're not even thinking about it. Yeah, the, the pressure is on the United, absolutely. Yeah, you're hoping for some crazy tiebreaker where three teams are one and two. Or you get a win. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or you win in a map five, and you'll take that all day. We'll see a busy right off the gate on defense, being very aggressive. Might catch a timing and scrap. See it, he does. He's able to find that first blood. Either his teammates spotted it or he's yeah, blessed by Fog of War. Yeah, yeah. A little, little Fog of War help, we'll take it. <laughs> One of the two. One of the two, that's for sure. But now you have a position where Selium's starting to go on the flank through phase. He's starting to work. The bomb is planted. He's going to catch Arsenis, or is he? It's Prasini helping out his brother. Now at three versus four. But bomb planted. Another situation where Arsenis is playing his life leads to a kill for E United. They've got the advantage. Tries to go over the top. Can't find the pick. Two players now left for phase clan. Zuma gonna be the lone man to try and do it all. He'll get his head picked and E United will get the W despite the fact that the first blood went the way of phase clan. It just comes down to that Salian play to me. It, do you have to be there? Do you have to challenge through the lobby? If you just sit in lobby in a corner, does the round go your way a little bit differently with timing? It just comes down to that. Like, if Arsenis goes down, the round's probably done. You have a four versus three for phase. The bomb planter probably got taken down for phase, but you expect that when you plant at that site. Usually the nades are there from the defensive team, or the FMJs there from that ICR. So the fact that Selim goes on that late flank, doesn't find anything, that's the round difference okay. for United. Another shot of the United squad as they'll talk through things after a big round victory, but they've still got to put five more on the board to take this final map. Scraps POV, sniper in hand. Does Simp have it on the other end of things? He sure does. That was a silly question. Yeah. <laughs> it will, just making sure. Just okay. making sure. I love sniper battles. They're my favorite thing. Up easy this time. He does get the first blood. Advantage to United. We know the type of aggression he's going to be playing with. And Simp's just going to back it up behind that first pick as they opt to rotate towards the B site. And this is a good call. You can already see Selium. He's starting to overload, overload towards his A side. But now they know something's up towards B. See him trying oh. to stay down, but he gets taken down by Pristini. And once again, you have time to rotate if you need to if you're United. 45 seconds left. Three versus three now. And Bomb is being played. Sorry, three versus two. Scraps had a couple of chances there to hit a shot. He had three opportunities to hit a shot, wasn't able to do it. And now it's Selium all alone, and Simp with the flick puts one right between his eyes. And that's a big couple of individual fights for Persini. The one on the bomb site, and then he's trapped inside the site the entire time while that bomb is being planted. So the fact that he gets up, able to win one more, and find his second kill of the round, that's huge for United. So far, so good for E United, but FaZe, no stranger to playing from behind over the course of this series, just doing it once again. Sniper once again for Simp. Looks to be a mid-map push from FaZe Clan. Clayster will be the low man to deal with this. Can he get away with his life? He's gonna get a lot of information here. He can back down, doesn't get caught. Yep, now you can see the adjustment. Simp now is just gonna look towards this lobby, and well, that's 30 seconds wasted off the clock for FaZe where they don't get a lot of information. They're gonna head towards his B site once again. Abizi played his life so well earlier. Zuma's gonna find one, but Asim able to find the second. So five versus three now. But Bomb, that's that's the scary part of it. Now Bomb's just down. You have to run into Sim Sniper. Yeah, yeah, well, what looked like a very easy round for FaZe with a 5v3 advantage now gets a whole hell of a lot more interesting. And I'm actually surprised that like, nobody's Steve. looking over it. Like, nobody from FaZe is looking over that player, so he gets the bomb down. But they rotate out, they're going through lobby. Zuma gets the bomb. Playster can't find the kill, but Simp can with the pistol. Two versus three now for United. Simp and Playster have to try and clutch. FaZe able to get the bomb down. Simp has a cluster to work with. Found a Maddox to use as well. This cluster does it connect. Can he find anything? Does it? And he drops. Clay finds forward. Oh, so the cluster does get a kill at the tail end of that, but not before it's over. Yeah, they could have got a kill, but I think Zero was in a really sneaky uh, position up top that elevator where he was just waiting for the United guys to start to push on up. So you're going to see Zuma get this bomb down. Even just the way he pointed it, you can tell it was really just playing around round zero. 
But a big round win for FaZe. Yeah, it's huge, huge. Alive. Yeah. If you're looking at it, lose that. A 3-0 for E United. Things spiraling out, out of control. And with the change to specialist, it gets even scarier. But there, they're able to get around to the board. And it really starts behind those opening two kills to give them a 5v3. And when it's all said and done, they play behind that. Scraps will be set up towards A. Sniper out. He has not been able to connect on his shot so far on this map five. Here's another chance for him. And they're giving him an opportunity. Uh, it's a movement, though, from United. Like, even that first pillar, the way they jump over it, and then they're just sliding, they're just hammering back and forth. But that's going to set up Zuma, Celium, Zero. They're all here from phases, the full rotation. All that information that Scraps gained allows Woo! them to set on up. But now it's a one versus two. Simp able to find Celium. A lot of time to work with, and you know these guys do not want to peek him. Not with the way he's shooting. He still has some time, too, so he can take, take a different route if he'd opt to. There's 40 seconds yep. remaining on this. Love to be able to find a secondary gun outside of the sniper, but it's going to have to be Stripe Paladin to get it done. He gets spotted. Now you're in trouble, because now there's 30 seconds remaining. They've gotten your position. You weren't able to get a kill through this reposition. You've run out of options, you just gotta go. Yeah, we'll see how zero, you can see the way they're just repositioning on those pillars. Just playing together. 15 seconds left now. Pretty soon one player can probably just run away. Yeah, you're gonna see a scene just dip. Zero is gonna stay. Yep, and I, I think that basically, not gonna matter, unfortunately for him. Not enough time to- That's why one player runs Ooh, away. All right, okay, all right, did not expect that. But that is exactly what one player runs away. But I, I think that round, <laughs> for the most part, like he just had, he, he takes the time to go in through vent. Yep. He had to get an angle there to hit a snipe. Once he didn't, it was basically over. But Simp does gun run with a strife and uh, puts an added clip into their corpse. He was just making sure. You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're going to get back up. What, what is this? Game of Thrones? Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Light him on fire. <laughs> that doesn't even work. <laughs> Two, two now. Simp looking for the angle. Did they give him a chance? He goes for it. There it is. It's one. They come fly forward. He has been stunned. The reinforcements start to get in. You have Pristini at the back steps, and Simp just gets out of there. I like that from Simp. He's just trying to reposition you. He's find on the three first in a row. blood. Yeah. And Pristini. Does get taken down, but Clay able to find two. His face just tries to flood through the lobby. Tried to stay away from that sniper, able to do so, but you run into the trap that United has set up. Uh, nice answer back for me, United. Yep. Yeah, you get two in a row for United phase. Start to take over. Two in a row for phase. Now United answer back. And Simp, I believe, got a kill with the strike at the tail end of that. So I think he's on four in a row. So still a ways to go towards streaks, but he's slowly getting closer and closer. Clay, though, a big part of that. Nice shots from the ICR into lobby to cut down two. And we'll see if we can hop to Sips POV. We're already on it. All right, great job, Paradox. Love you, buddy. 400 off. So, yeah, still a ways to go, but he's found four in a row at eight and two. He's had some good search and destroys over the course of this series. What was he, 12 and four <laughs> in the map, too? God! Asim. We'll see you around seven. As he takes a 50 cal bullet to the chest, but, but he will be no more. Simp was the only one over there. Like, United were setting this up. There's the rotation from FaZe. He had see Zuma just trying to go back and forth in between that lobby, but that opens things up where Scraps is now in a tough position backstairs. And he's got to be careful here. He doesn't have a lot of help from his teammates. Nice able to find a BZ. That's a huge kill. Makes it a four versus four, but Simp again able to find Scraps. Now the streak up to six. 150 off streaks, and what is that shot? Zero, gunned. Sip 50 off of streaks now as he continues to hunt with the strife. A Maddox in his back pocket and te can't take the gunfight. Maybe a bit of a heat check with how he's been playing, but it's a 2v1. Bomb is planted. Zuma stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, big round from Sip, but I, I still think I don't know. It's one of those things where maybe him getting those streaks down the road. Oh, well, in a perfect world, you would love for him to to back down, play for the streaks. But it's like it's like you're in an NBA game. You've hit four threes in a row. You're taking the fifth from 10, 10 feet off the line. Yeah, but the fifth <laughs> one he airballed. Yeah. So. <laughs>
He's feeling confident. Wow, is he hitting some shots. This one with the flinch on the zero, are you kidding me? What is that? Bit of witchcraft. Unbelievable. Now 4-2 for United. As he's 11 and 3. The simp show continues in map 5. See what FaZe can do now. They're going back to this middle hit. Remember last time it was just placed her inside lobby. He's going to get that information once again. Backs on down. How do FaZe move from here? And again, this is what we, we know from new rosters. If they're going to struggle, it's going to be in that search and destroy. It's going to take some time. That's what I was saying. You know, more, the more game five is the better for phase down, down the road. Yeah, especially, uh, well, I mean, you think about earlier in the series, we were just talking about phase need to get a map, right? Yep. Like, think of where we've come from there. They've done more than that. Nice first blood from Zuma, and that's a difficult gunfight to try and take to the back steps of Pristini. Now the crossfire does come in. Pristini and Clays are doing an excellent job. But it's all said and done. Selium's the last man up. Pristini punches him in the face. And now E United one round away from surviving this series. And what a big win this is for United, considering you take the opening out to kick off your tournament in London. And for FaZe, I mean, you beat beaten EG, but, you know, United got taken down by that new NB roster. So still a very tough match ahead tonight for FaZe. Yeah, I have, if, I mean, if United win this, who the hell knows how this, this pool turns out, right? All right, one more round. Clayster now has worked his way towards streaks. As big a game as Simp has had. I mean, at, looking back to Clay getting that two, two kills inside the lobby, yeah. he's really played behind that in the crossfire in the last round with Pristini. He uses the attack five, gets the lightning strike, and they close it out here with the added health. Arsene's first blood, Abizi follows it up. Simp now involved in the action. There's two, it's suddenly a two on two though. A one on one, Selian versus Simp. Simp has the extra health. He was shooting bodies earlier. Can he finish it here? Yes, he can. What a performance from Simp and the United as they clutch up and close out the map five.